Hey guys, so today we went to HEB and did a quick little filler haul. I don't buy everything, and I mentioned this before from Costco. So when you guys saw my last grocery haul, which is which was a humongous Costco haul, that isn't my typical. First off, my not my typical grocery shopping. Um, second, not my typical Costco hauls. Typically, we like to stay between four and five hundred dollars, and that one was close to seven. But we hadn't gone to Costco in two months, so. We did need a bunch of like laundry stuff and things like that. That's why it was so expensive. But I don't buy everything from Costco. Like one thing that they don't sell is jarred baby food. Um, they don't, I don't love all of their produce. For one, it's not all a great deal. And for two, some of it is just too large for our family. We don't buy a lot of meat there. We don't buy our milk there. Um, just a lot of things. So I thought I would quickly show you guys the $150 haul that I had. I think it was like $158 today from HEB. Some of this stuff, like the baby food, I won't be purchasing that frequently. I kind of went a little nuts because some of it was on sale and I got it so that we, if we're traveling with her, I don't always have to take fresh homemade baby food with coolers and like all these things. Sometimes it just gets a little too hard to carry around. So I thought I would go ahead and share with you the quick little haul we got at HEB. So we bought an Emily, no I'm just playing. We bought two things of distilled baby water, which is what we use for her formula. I also got some su sushi, uh, tempura roll, and then in the fridge we have, I forget what this one is. Um, I got this from the dress, a Texan roll. And these two were kind of pricey, but it's our guilty little pleasure. Okay, so now for the good stuff. Grapes weren't on sale and they came in these like tiny packages. I mean, the girls can kill one of these in like a sitting. So I bought three of um, the little, I don't even know how many pounds this is, maybe a few pounds each bag, but I got three of those. I also got some organic apples to make Autumn's next fruit. This is actually gonna be her first fruit. So organic gala apples, and then also some organic bananas for her. Also, I, I think I may see if she wants to like gnaw on it. If not, I'll puree it for her and feed it to her like that. We also got three seedless cucumbers, and I haven't really tried these. They're kind of on the pricey side. You can get regular cucumbers for like three for a dollar and these are like a dollar thirty a piece so i'm curious to see what they taste like what the inside looks like uh, i love putting cucumbers with salt and or not even salt just like lemon or like the chile on it and it's really good so i'm curious to see what those look like also got some just regular bananas for us and some sweet potatoes our grocery store doesn't carry organic sweet potatoes so I couldn't pick those up for autumn because I do want to try those for her as well back here we got some plums these are just large plums I love when plums are I don't even know if they're in season but HEB doesn't always carry this size of plums so I'm excited to have those some sweet tomato little cherry tomatoes we have two things of strawberries they didn't have the large three pound packs so I got two one pound packs over there. Regular russet potatoes. This is one thing, I think this is a five pound bag, um, but this is one thing that, yeah, five pounds that Costco sells in like a huge, I think their bags are like 10 and 20 pounds worth of potatoes. And we don't have like russet potatoes, baking potatoes that often that we would need that large of a pack. Sometimes we don't even use the whole five pound pack. Like I'll use half of it tonight for mashed potatoes and the other half for another meal, but we don't always use them. So it just wasn't worth it for me to invest the money in Costco. Like that's something that won't last a long time. And then I got this little baby pack of red potatoes. And I like these because, what size is this? I think just, yeah, two pounds. I like these because they're super tiny and cute. You can throw them in the crock pot and just have them like put them whole or you can roast them or cut them in half and roast them with some rosemary, a little bit of butter, thyme, and some salt and pepper. So good. Then back here I picked up two packs of the extra lean ground beef. This is the 96% uh, lean, 4% fat. This is 1.31 pounds and that one is 1.65 pounds. So we definitely aren't a one pound pack of meat family anymore, but we're not quite a two pound pack of meat. <laughs> so 
the tubes, when I buy them, they're one pound each, and if I defrost two of them, uh, then it's almost like we have too much leftover, uh, whereas if I have just over one pound, we are not left over with that much, so... Yeah, I think those will be perfect. That's why I prefer and actually this is for the extra lean This is the same price per pound as the tube. So I don't mind doing it like this uh, also got some Avocados these are really nicely riped avocados got four of those back here I got some more coffee meat for me the sugar-free French French vanilla um, This is Emmy snack a little Pringles pack sour cream and then uh, some oven roasted turkey breast deli meat uh, for me and then cooked ham for Andres. Two things of grape juice. The girls, I typically buy like a grape, an apple, and an orange. Andres really likes orange. I like apple. The girls really like grape. Um, but we, I didn't even drink any apple from my last grocery haul. So it's still in there and he hasn't finished his orange juice. So I just got a couple things of grape for the girls. Two more things of the 1% milk. A couple things of the turkey jerky just the original and I'm kicking myself I really need to go back to Costco I'm kicking myself for not buying more of that beef jerky these were four dollars for this little pack it's 2.85 ounces four dollars a piece now granted it's turkey jerky so it's a little bit better for you but not that much and that other stuff was super super good so anyway I got two packs of that and then a pack of already sliced Colby Jack cheese and then Emmy kind of convinced me to get this the high C the 100% uh, vitamin C little juice boxes this is something that I didn't even look at at Costco because I know my brother buys either from Costco or Sam's like the better for you juice the ones that are have a little bit like not as much sugar and stuff um, but this one comes with 40 and 10 different flavors and I thought you know they're on spring break right now and just for weekends and stuff, they'll last forever. And they're the little juice boxes, so they're easy to travel with. Okay, so now for baby food stuff. I got these Replay, which I actually got in a kid's box. Like, we have the forks and spoons and the plates and bowls, I think. they have. We got them in some play pack that I got sent a long time ago for the girls so I thought I saw they, they had them in infant spoons and I loved the colors pink light pink and purple and then one green one they had to mess it up <laughs> but it also comes with like this little travel pack which is perfect because I've been putting her spoons in a ziploc each time and that's so wasteful so I like the fact that it came with that so I got this and then I got some more of the graduates bunch of bowls because I am making her baby food on a daily basis or like a weekly basis I'd say or every time she switches to a new vegetable or fruit and these are perfect it fits three of the one ounce cubes in there throw them in there you can pop them in the bag and they defrost throughout the day oh well, look you can even write their name on it super cool so I thought I would oh you can even buy suction bowls that's kind of cool too um, and they come with lids so I picked up some more of those but here is my main reason for going to AGB. Everything else kind of came along with it. I did pick up some baby food, which I am making her baby food. I picked this up for mainly like when we're out. It's easier to carry a pouch or a jar with a spoon than trying to figure out how long we're going to be out. Do we need two things of baby food? Because she is, she is eating two to three times a day. So if we're out and about, it's so much easier to carry these things and to do her homemade baby food at home. So beech nut, I thought I would give it a try. I've, I'd never tried these with Maddie, but they were on sale, buy one, get one free, and they were a dollar a jar. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I'll just run through quickly with what I got. Um, green beans, and some of them are stage one, um, which is like four months plus. Some of them are stage two, which is six months plus. We pretty much mix some things, but we, we pretty much have been giving her single fruit, single vegetables. I just recently started mixing broccoli and carrots like yesterday. So <laughs> I don't know. This one is spinach, zucchini, and peas, peas, green beans, asparagus, beets, pear, pomegranate, apple, and blackberry. Pear and blueberry, carrot, corn, and pumpkin, sweet corn, and green beans, corn, squash, and apple, both of those, and then mango. So, oh, fail. R.I.P. baby food. That stinks. 
Okay, let me try and not bust any more. These are the Earth Best Organic. I did um, pick up these. This brand doesn't have, even though it's organic, doesn't have the widest selection in baby food. So I didn't pick up everything from them. Like I didn't pick up the ones that were mixed and things like that. I will go back depending on which one she likes and get them, but I just didn't do it now. So I got two of the pear, one winter squash, three bananas, three apples, and these are all organic. Um, three sweet potatoes because I couldn't get like fresh sweet potatoes organic. I don't know why it's not focusing. Fresh sweet potatoes organic. Um, that just wasn't something that H-E-B carried. And then corn and butternut squashed right there. So I have a little joiner here with me who was upset while I was trying to finish up this grocery haul. But I also got some of the uh, little baby, what are these, pouches? And I mainly pick these up for on the go. Um, I mean, just because, I don't know. <laughs> I got all Gerber organic green beans, bananas, apples, mixed carrots. And then these are the stage two. So it kind of gives some mix. So we have veggies, green beans, and sweet corn, fruit and veggies, pear and spinach, and then carrot, zucchini, and broccoli, and then peas, carrots, and beets. So that was the end of the haul. Sorry, it was a little chaotic towards the end. Autumn <laughs> was not having it, huh? Dad wasn't having it, Mom. Wasn't having it. And then I dropped the baby food. I got to go clean that up. So that was the haul from HEB. A lot of extra things like I said baby food I never buy juices but it's a filler haul and it should get us through the next couple of weeks without having to buy like fresh produce so hopefully you guys enjoyed it let me know what you thought in the comments below we'll see you in the next one say bye mama say bye guys thanks for watching